So we all know of the usual suspect apps that we have on our phones. Your Instagram, your Twitter, your Facebook, things of that nature. But today I thought I was going to do something a little bit different, something I haven't done in a while. I'm going to show you five really, really cool apps which I think you should have on your phone. Let's do this. So this app is called Universal Copy. And essentially what you need to do is give it all its permission that it needs. Just enable those, follow the prompt, very, very straightforward. And what it does, it allows you to copy and paste items from places you typically wouldn't. So for example, here's the Google Play Store. Let's just say I want to copy some of these titles. Even if I long press on them, it doesn't pop up the copy menu, right? Scroll down from the top, go find Universal Copy, activate it. Now look what you can do. Any place that you can touch that's got text, it will automatically bring it through into its little clipboard. You can in fact even play around with it just only copying the words that you need. Press the copy button, it will copy it to your clipboard, and now you can paste it as normal text. So basically it transcribes anything that you can see into text that is able to be placed inside the clipboard. You know when you have Wi-Fi which doesn't reach all places in your house or your office? Well, you can use one of your phones as a repeater to help expand the Wi-Fi to the area that doesn't get it. Basically, you load Edify software on both the devices. The one connects to your normal Wi-Fi as per normal. And basically, it becomes a repeater and amplifies the signal so that your other phone can connect to the first phone and therefore onto the Wi-Fi. Right, next up is something called Files by Google. And it's actually written and developed by, um, yeah, Google. What it is, it's a three-in-one tool app. So it does a couple of things. Firstly, it allows you to free up space on your phone. So it cleans up the junk files, the cache, all of those kind of things that need to be cleaned up on a regular basis. So it will do that for you. The next thing is it allows you to find files fast on your phone. So use it as almost a file manager. And it allows you to even share files, set pictures, videos, text files, etc., to people around you. So in the offline world, so even if you don't have internet access, it will allow you to do that. It will back stuff up to the cloud. It really is a good kind of companion app. Right, this app is really going to be pulling at your heartstrings. So I do warn you now. And it also kind of makes you realize how fast time does fly by. It's called Zal Memories. And essentially what it does is that it logs onto your various services, your various cloud services that you've obviously given it access to. And every day it's going to pull down one image, be it a GIF, be it a picture, be it a video clip. You can configure which services you wanted to look at and which one you wanted to ignore. And every day you're going to have that little one icon next to your Zal. You press on it and it's going to pull out a memory from the past. This is really cute and again, does make you realize that time is precious and is flying by. Have you ever noticed how some people's Instagram feed or social media feed is just beautiful with these amazing inspiring images? Well, with Adobe Spark, you can get that as well. So you log into the app, you've got a whole host of pre-scripted, predetermined, beautifully curated images for you to use. Some of them are free, some of them you've got to pay for, some of them actually come with your Adobe subscription. So make sure you log into your Adobe account if you have that. Now you can also create your own. Simply select the images that you want. You can add one, you can add multiple, and then go through the options. It's going to allow you to do some editing, so you can move things around, as you can see, top image, bottom image, and at the bottom, it allows you to choose the template. Where is this thing going? Is it a tweet? Is it on Pinterest? It will automatically resize. You can also add text and you can edit that. Lots of things to play with. Adobe Spark, definitely go check that out and upgrade your social media feed to look so professional and cool. There are so many apps for us to explore. So if you've got a favorite, let me know in the comments below. And if it's your first time here, welcome. This is the kind of stuff that we do here. Tech, gadget, apps, cool stuff like that. Give the video a thumbs up and check out some of these other cool videos down here. And you know what? I'll see you over there.